Hello, Son Howard here, Kendall at Oberlin Fitness. Wondering how everybody's doing during this difficult time. Wondering if you're getting some exercise in. If not, if you've been struggling with that, I've got a little video here that you can do. Pretty simple, you don't need a lot of space, but just make sure that whatever you're doing that you do have enough room to do it that you're not going to hit anything. You can have a chair. We're gonna do some modifications for certain exercises. You do not need a mat if you are on carpeted floor. You can do the planks uh, from that position and not have to worry about a mat. We've got some dumbbells, but that may be an issue. So if you have some water bottles, eight to 12 ounce water bottles, canned goods, any household items that you could use that you would be able to lift safely will do. You can also do the movement without any resistance whatsoever and still benefit from that. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna do a little warm up. So make sure your feet are about hip width apart. You're gonna make sure the knees are nice and soft. Really squeeze the abdominal area. Lengthen that spine, square up those shoulders, and then push those shoulder blades into the back pockets. We're tilting ear to shoulder, rolling to the front, and up that ear again. We're going to make sure that it's just the head that is tilting and not the body, and reverse to get the other side in. Again, the knees are going to stay soft, but we're going to stay nice and contracted through that abdominal area, and up. Keep that chin level and look over the shoulder. And then gently to the other side. This is a stretch, so we want to apply gentle pressure to the point of tension, not pain. Take it back to that starting shoulder one more time. And to the other side. And bring it back to center. Big shoulder rolls to the back. Make sure that it's not just the arms that are moving. We want to make sure that we're really lifting through those traps. Lifting up, circling back, pushing down, and pulling forward. Again, knees are soft, stomachs are nice and engaged. And swinging those arms, we're going to try and make the left part of the arm a little soft. Not controlling it anywhere, but from the shoulder, opening through that chest cavity. And keeping those shoulders square, we're windmilling. Again, the never forcing anything, we're applying gentle pressure to the point of tension, not pain. What we're looking for is no trunk rotation to open because then we are not really getting those shoulders very warm. We wanna make sure that we're getting all of the synovial fluid in each joint nice and protective around that area. And step wide and circle through the hips. Make sure that it's not the shoulders that we're circling. We really want to open through those flexors, release a little bit to stretch the small of that back, and reverse those circles. Again, the knees are soft, stomachs are nice and tight. And we're going to step it together. We're going to circle those knees, make sure your feet stay nice and flat. We're going to keep those knees behind the toes as much as possible. Full circles through those knees, not locking when we get to the back, but making sure that we're hitting that range of motion. And reverse. And bring it up nice and tall. Make sure that you're going to shift that sternum over, circling wrists and ankles. Make sure that knee is soft and reverse the circles. And switching to the other side again, I'm keeping those shoulders nice and square, keeping them centered over my supporting leg. Make sure that it's the ankles and the wrists that you are warming up, not the knees or through the hips. Reverse those circles. And gently bring it down. We are marching, we wanna lift opposite arm to knee. Make sure that we are pumping those arms from the shoulders, not just the elbows. Get those knees as high as you can. We're just gonna do a few. Again, we wanna get those muscles nice and warm before we put them through any type of rigorous workout. Three, two, one. Last warm up lunging jacks. Use those arms, keeping both toes forward. You can lift to shoulder height if going overhead is too painful. 
Last set. All right, it's time to get into our workout. The first thing that we're gonna do is a combo. So again, you're gonna grab those weights or whatever you have at home. The first move to this is a hammer curl. We're going to lower, there's a slight rotation, palms going in for that bicep curl. We're gonna do a set of 15. When you're doing this workout, you can actually make it a little bit longer by doing three sets. Now, 15 repetitions is usually about the max that people will do. So if you only do eight to 10, that is perfect. Stay right where you're at. If you have the ability to move up with your resistance, if you can make it through three sets of 15 with no problem whatsoever, it's time to bump it up a little bit. We wanna make sure again that the knees are nice and soft and that that stomach is nice and engaged. Our spine is long and our breathing should be exhale on that hard part, inhale on the easy and, and in. We're gonna do five, that's the hammer, rotate palms to shoulder for that bicep curl, and four, how's everybody doing so far? Hopefully all right, and three, exhale. Try not to let the body rock. We do not want momentum to be in this at all. We want it to be muscle driven. Here's our last set. Hammer, and rotate bicep, and lower. The next one we're going to do is a squat. You can use your weights for added resistance. You can stack them to give the arms a little bit more of a, a job to do. We're gonna sit and push back up. I'm gonna do it from the side. I want you to notice that I am still trying to keep my knees in line with my ankles as much as possible. You can see that the small of my back keeps that natural curve, that lordosis. My hips are hinging back. I do not want to push my hip bones straight down. That pushes my knees past my toes. That is not good for the knees. Again, I'm gonna show a modification, keep going. You can use a chair as a little bit of a buffer, especially if balance may be an issue or we can get rid of the weights, we can start in the chair, we can cross hands over and do chair stand to sit. If that is a much better exercise for you, you will choose this one. We're gonna do five more. Again, watching that upper body, not allowing it to come down, we wanna keep those shoulders over top of those hips as much as possible. Breathing, inhale, two, Last one, and have a seat. Again, if seated is better than standing, you can do most of the upper body routine in the chair as well. The next one we're gonna do is the military press. We wanna make sure that our elbows are at 90 degrees. We don't want them dropping down into what we call the W form. As we extend, exhale, we wanna keep those arms slightly in front of the body, we do not want to be here. As we release again, coming to just 90, nothing below. And the other thing to point out, I usually have some that like to keep the elbows bent. Try not to bring the arms in. We want to extend them up straight towards the ceiling. And we want to get that arm as straight through the elbow as possible without locking. We never want to lock the joints when we're exercising. Exhale. Inhale. Again, I'm doing one set of 15, but you can absolutely lengthen this routine and get a little bit more by doing three sets. And again, you do not have to do three sets of 15. You are going to do three sets of however many you can get. Eight to 10 is usually good. And counting down, three, Exhale, two, knees soft, stomachs tight, one, and go ahead and lower. The next one, we're going back to lower body. If you can tell, we're trying to do upper, lower, upper, lower. 
making sure we're getting a total body workout. You can put your weights down. I wanna show you, we're going to do lunges. We're going to be doing them forward. And I'm gonna show you from the side to make sure that you're actually taking a wide enough step that we wanna again make sure that that knee is staying in line with that ankle in the front as much as possible. Push off, switch it, push off. You do not have to go down to the floor in order to count and make the workload on the muscle. You can bend as far as you feel comfortable. If balance is an issue, we can do them from the chair. Also, side lunges. In case the knees just aren't going to take that forward lunge, Again, the toes on both feet are going to stay forward. You're going to, from the side, make sure again that that hip is going to the back. We are keeping that knee in line with the ankle as much as possible. Again, if balance is an issue, we're gonna hold on to that chair. You can even let go with one hand. Take it to the other side. We can do repeaters. Stay with one leg, do your 15 on one side, and then switch to the other side. This is gonna be a little more taxing. There's no break, but alternating is also going to be a little more challenging for you as far as the balance component goes, your choice. Two, and one. Good job. Going on, this is going to be the last upper body that we do. We're going to do lateral raises. Again, feet pretty much underneath of those hips. Your knees are nice and soft or contracted, especially through that transversus abdominal. We're gonna make sure that we're lifting. Now, do not give me broken wrists. We do not want to lift them up. We wanna make sure that those knuckles are going right up from that shoulder. And any of the resistance work that we're doing, we wanna make sure that we're controlling both the up and the down movement, especially that down. We're fighting against that gravity. Exhale, inhale. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Make sure that neck is nice and long. Again, wrists straight out from those shoulders. Exhale soft knee. Make sure those shoulder blades are in the back pockets. And lift and lower. And what I mean by making sure that you're controlling, just not letting it go down, up, let it come down. We want to make sure that if we've got a two count on the up, we want a two count on the down. One, two, one, two three, exhale, two, last one, we're finished with the weights, you can get rid of whatever you've been using for that resistance, we're going to end with everyone's favorite, this is the plank, this is a total body workout, it's good for all of those stabilizing muscles that we don't necessarily get when we're lifting with the dumbbells. So I'm going to show you a few different things with this. Normally, people would do this from a palm position. We wanna make sure that those hands are right underneath of those shoulders. We're going to extend. If you wanna challenge yourself, you're gonna keep your stance narrow. If, challenge, if your balance is challenged, we're gonna open those legs just slightly, but we do not want to teepee and have those hips piped in the air, or this is what I call the hammock where we have a saggy belly and it kind of just sways. We wanna make sure that we're pulled up and lifted nice and tall. Ideally, 60 seconds is a good hold for this. We're gonna hold 60 today. If you can get to 15, great. Keep counting and go to 20 the next time, 25, and then just keep working your way up. It is possible. Make sure that you're staying nice and strong. Now, before it's over, I wanna gently come down 
You can start from this position, but again, elbows are right underneath of those shoulders. My back is staying nice and neutral. I'm not holding my breath. I wanna be able to squeeze and contract those core muscles and still have that air flow going back in and out. Three, two, one. Bring it in. We're gonna have a seat. Stay, you can stretch from your chair, stretch from the floor, you can stretch standing. We're gonna keep those legs nice and straight. Again, we're nice and lifted through that spine. Our shoulders are square. I'm going to cross one hand over the other, keeping my back nice and neutral. I'm gonna lean forward, keeping the curve to the small of that back and coming forward as much as I can. Ideally, we wanna hold our stretches for at least 60 seconds. It takes almost that long for the muscles to truly relax. When you lean forward, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the back nice and neutral and I'm hinging from my hips only. I don't want to round the back or pull my shoulders forward. We wanna make sure that the shoulders are down, the neck is long, and again, we are just coming forward from those hips. Three, two, one. Bringing it up from the hips. Go ahead and cross those legs. Again, keeping that spine nice and long. We're gonna lean forward slightly. You should really feel that stretching through the glutes into the lower back slightly. Then we're just gonna melt and actually do what I just said not to and go ahead and let that spine just curve. Chin to chest. And then gently rolling it back up one vertebra at a time to a nice sit position. We're gonna do one final stretch. Give me a nice big ah on the release. Here we go. Round the back. Again, shoulders are gonna stay away from the ears. Our chin is gonna go to chest. And we're gonna round pelvic tilt. Take a nice deep breath in. And release. <sighs> Thank you for joining me, although it's not the same. We truly miss each and every one of you and hope that you are staying healthy and well. Until next time, we'll see you later.